क्वेश्चन 151 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ पॉलीमर ऑफ ग्लूकोस स्टार्च इन्यूलिन ग्लाइकोजन सेल्यूलोस लेट्स गो ओवर देम वन बाय वन क्विकली स्टार्च इज अ होमोपॉलीमर ऑफ ग्लूकोस इट्स मेड अप ऑफ सब यूनिट्स और रेसिड्यूज ऑफ ग्लूकोस ऑल्सो इट फॉर्म्स हेलिकल स्ट्रक्चर द हेलिकल स्ट्रक्चर इज फॉर्म्ड बाय the chain of glucose option number 2 inulin inulin is polymer of fructose inulin is polymer of fructose it is a storage polysaccharides found in the tubers and roots of dahlia and other related plants and also an important point to note about inulin that it is not metabolized in the human body option number 3 glycogen glycogen is also a homopolymer of glucose and it's made up of about 30000 units of or residues of glucose it shows branch structure lastly cellulose this is a straight chain polymer it's a linear polymer doesn't show any branching and is again is a homopolymer of glucose like starch so the answer here would be option number 2 inulin because it is not a polymer of glucose but of fructose answer is 2 question 152 select the correct match between column 1 and column 2 column 1 cellulose chitin inulin glycogen and column 2 has certain features related to it let's go over them one by one A cellulose. Cellulose is present in plant cell wall, and it's an important structural component of the plant cell wall, and thus it is called as structural homopolysaccharide. So option A would go with two. B chitin. Chitin is the second most abundant substance. The basic unit of chitin is a nitrogen-containing glucose derivative known as N-acetylglucosamine. and chitin is found in the exoskeleton of arthropods b would go with 4 option c inulin inulin is a storage homopolysaccharide it's a polymer of fructose and it is found in the roots and tubers of dahlia and related plants so c goes with 1 and lastly d glycogen glycogen is made up of about 30000 glucose residues it also shows branching and has alpha 14 linkages between the glucose residues and lastly glycogen glycogen is made up of about 30000 glucose residues and it shows branching structure thus option d would go with 3 let's look at the fifth option here cannot trap iodine molecules out of these components cellulose does not have any complex helices students which can trap iodine molecules so this is correct for a as well a goes with fifth looking at the combination here a5 b4 c1 and d3 the correct answer here would be option number 1 question 153 substitution of methane can result in formation of monosaccharides amino acids glycerol nucleic acid If you look at the structure of methane it has one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms let's read the options monosaccharides monosaccharides are 3 to 8 carbon atom molecules amino acids amino acids usually have one alpha carbon which has four different components one is r a boxylic group amino group and hydrogen option 3 glycerol glycerol is nothing but trihydroxy propane and lastly nucleic acid nucleic acids are polymers of nucleotides and they consist of pento sugar phosphate and a nitrogen containing base the closest structure that can result from substitution of hydrogen atoms of a methane molecule is an amino acid so the correct answer here would be option number 2 amino acids
Question 154. Select the correct set with respect to essential amino acids for an adult man. So various combinations of amino acids are given. We have to look for the set which only has essential amino acids listed. Students, amino acids which occur in the proteins are of 20 types as per the genetic codes and humans are incapable of synthesizing about half of these 20 standard amino acids. And these are known as essential amino acids because these must be obtained from food. Let's look at option 1, glycine, methionine and cysteine. Well, cysteine is a non-essential amino acid and that's why this is incorrect. Glutamic acid, histidine and serine. Glutamic acid or glutamate is a non-essential. This makes it incorrect. Tyrosine, lysine and proline. Out of this, protein is non-essential. Again, this is incorrect. And leucine, valine and phenylalanine. Leucine, valine and phenylalanine are all essential amino acids. This makes it the correct option. This makes it the correct option. Option number 4. The answer is 4. Question 155. Which of the following is not a fatty acid? Uridylic acid, palmitic acid, stearic acid, arachidonic acid. Students, a fatty acid shows the presence of an unbranched chain of carbon atoms having a carboxylic group attached to an R group. The R group could be a methyl or higher number of CH2 group. It could be ranging from 1 carbons to 19 carbon atoms. If you look at here, among the fatty acids are categorized into two types, saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acids. Saturated fatty acids do not have any double bonds, whereas unsaturated have double bonds. And the examples are palmitic, stearic, oleic acid, palmitic acid, stearic acid, oleic acid, linoleic acid, linolenic acid and arachidonic acids. So these are all fatty acids. Among the options, palmitic, arachidonic and stearic acids are all fatty acids. Where we look at the uridylic acid, uridylic acid is a nucleotide monomer in RNA and it consists of a phosphate group, pentosugar ribose and nucleoside uracil. Thus, this is not a fatty acid which makes it a right answer. The correct option here would be option 1, uridylic acid.